Well, good morning. It is day six. Yeah. Hmm. And we have broken another record for the longest amount of time boondogging for the wax. That's right. <laughs> Five days. Go Five us. Days. Yeah, we're doing good. <laughs> um, I didn't sleep very well last night. No. No, I still feel like a shit. Mm. Now I have to go explain. I was going to explain to Dave and Jess last night. But I'm glad I didn't, because I would have explained it the way I thought it, yeah. it really was. And now, since we got back last night and Leslie explained to me the real rule, yeah, we I have to go out there and face the music today. Yeah, you totally misinterpreted. And I have to go and tell Dave and Jess that they are going home because I misinterpreted the rule. David, Jess, you have been unplugged. Gather your things tonight on the inside of your RV and be ready to pull out tomorrow. Not gonna make it any better for them, but no. Hopefully, they will be forgiving enough. I hope so. To have no hard feelings. But hey, I messed up, and and I gotta own it. Yeah. So it's all me. But we have to find a way to put that behind us. We're yeah, still we in the competition. We can't yeah. change it now. No, it's done. It's done. And so we have to just keep going and do our best to mm -hmm. go win. I hope they even believe us. I know when you're mad about something, you and that person tries to tell you something you you don't want to hear it. Yeah, you're not receiving it. But it is the real truth. I really <laughs> thought our name had a chance of being in that bucket, and and a twenty five percent chance that it was going to get pulled out. Yeah. And I know when you say it, it's the truth because you've done this multiple times yeah, over the years. I have. You interpreted something way different than me yeah. or multiple people you're like yeah. that is not how i took that yeah. information and so i mean it's i wish i would have i wish i would have processed it different or i wish someone would have said out of the names that are already in the box That's or something the like way that. that was worded the way that was worded is like if there's a tie there's a double tie after the first tie todd yeah. will pull one one name out from the from from the box but i don't for some reason in my mind i just thought all the names were going in the box and he'd pull one I don't know, man. I don't know either. Anyway. Don't know. Here we go. Moving on. We can't do anything about it. We're going to roll on. And we have no idea what we're doing this morning. All they said was wear shorts and bring, bring sunscreen. Mm. So we're going to be doing something outside. And we're probably going to be running around again. And are you sore? Not really. My leg is Leg's good. freaking pretty good. Okay. I'm Just still, a little bit, but I think if I take even more motion today, yeah. I'll be fine. I'm still a little tired. And I got like strap marks right here. Do you have burn from marks? From the Zorb, from holding that thing for the whole game. So tight. And yeah. uh, I did, my groin was tight last night. It still is a little bit, um, but I, I didn't stretch before the thing, which was stupid. Mm -hmm. And so today, I will make sure that I stretch before any physical activities. Yes, please. We will keep you informed of all things that are going on here, including me misinterpreting rules. Yeah, hopefully we can clarify things before we do things today. <laughs> and even if we would have had, even if we would have had, if we would have had five minutes to talk. After yeah. that rule was explained, we didn't get to talk again until we went into the booth. Mm -hmm. If we would have had five minutes to talk, you'd have been like, dumbass, that's not what it means. Exactly. And I'd have been like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's so exactly how I would have said yeah. it too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. In case you're wondering what happens when we're not filming for the show, this is what's going on. This is what I was talking about where last year they were kind of in their own little huddles. Well, this year, every morning we come out, blue team mingling with red team. We're actually uh, calling it purpling. So we are currently purpling. People are out dancing. They got some music going. And it's a little foggy out this morning, but we are... Everybody's really friendly. We are meeting some great people and we we're just having a great time. <laughs> Feeling a little sunburnt. Yes, I like tan from here down. That crispy. <laughs> we're always wearing our sunglasses out there as much as possible yeah, anyway. And the foreheads are white. Hey, you know, you haven't had to remove your hat and hair nearly as much as I thought you were going to have No, to. I haven't. It's been pretty cool. Yeah. I'm sure they've caught some of it on film. Yeah. But Most people here didn't even know my hair was fake. No, not until you like yeah. put a helmet on. We had to put a helmet on last night for the Zorb Soccer. Helmet on today, today for the bike challenge. So today we went out for the, it was like the, what, this, the road road signs across America? Yeah. Famous highways and roads? Yeah. 
So what you had to do is you had to get on, they had electric bikes out there, and yeah. you know, a two mile course, mile out and mile back. Yeah. This by far has been my most difficult challenge. Yes, because this was a memory challenge. So there's six signs out there, and it, it could, they could be blue or red, and they could say highway, street, you know, yeah. on interstate, whatever, and a number. And as you're riding now, there's 12 of them, and you have to memorize them in order. Yeah. And then the, the tally of the team's combined total score, average, because the blue team's a little bit bigger than we are, wins. And, and accuracy was key today for this team challenge. So our tactic was we go first because stress causes my short-term memory to be even worse. worse. So the faster I go, the better. Yeah. So I'm like, I go first. It was good because Blue won yesterday and they forced us to go first anyway, yeah. our team to go first. And I was yeah. like, we'll go first, so let's go. And then the tactic was... I memorized the first six signs. Yeah. You memorized the last six signs. And Which so, six is a huge deal It for is. You. Well, six is a lot. Because you know, if I go to the grocery store and there's Anything more than two, 30. I got to have a list. So, and mine was on the back end. Yeah. That's the microwave. We're cooking food. Dinner time. And... So you memorized the first six. I didn't even look at the first six. I was just counting how many signs there were. Yeah. Once we got past the first six, then I started trying to memorize and I was just saying it over and over in my head as we kept adding them. And then when we get to the table, they have the 12 signs and they lay them out, you lay them out on the table. Yeah. And it was, helps me out a lot because you took your I six. I took mine. I knew, I, I mean, ever since I started, I was like, and I was mad because my signs all were triple digits except one. There was a double. Well, that was good because if those had been mine, we'd been screwed. And it was a mile out and a mile back. Yeah. So I'm like the whole time I'm just saying my yeah. numbers over and over. So and only over. six signs in a mile. They're spread pretty far out, so it gives you time to forget. <laughs> For me, anyway, it gives yeah. you time to remember. It gives me time to forget. So you took your six signs that helped me. I only had six signs to work with. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. You know, I knew I had the first two down. I knew I had the last one down. So the, the three in the middle that I had to, to get, and I think I did pretty good. Uh, we're gonna find out the results here in a minute. And we think our team won. Yeah. Which is good because we're down a player. Yeah. We need so to win. we'll get the results here in a little bit. But let's move on to the next one. We went to pickleball. Yes. And we got our ass kicked by Matt. Thank you, Matt, for yeah, Matt's RV you, reviews. Matt. Appreciate the ass whooping you just gave us in pickleball. Yeah. Uh, we did and, not. And will. Because they and were will. partners. Yeah. We did not score one point. Nope. The entire match. Matt likes to put spin on his ball. If you ever play with Matt, just be warned, he spins his balls. Yeah. We did get him in, but not on our serve. Not on our serve. You can only score on your serve. So yeah. I was able to get points down, yeah. but not on our serve. So that's going to give uh, Jack and Shelby a chance to go into the Alliance Key Room for a shot, shot. and get a park pass. Yeah. Which doesn't really impact us that much because that's the blue side. Yeah. And I think blue's going to elimination tonight. Yeah. To have to vote. Hopefully. And that will even everything out. So we'll yeah. see how that plays out. After we eat, we go over to the elimination meeting. We'll come back and we'll let you know how it all shook out. <sighs> Much better day today. Today was an awesome day. Today I was not a shit. <laughs> I didn't mess up. We won the competition. We won the team, the team competition. Challenge. So we forced Blue into a vote. Yes. Which was the absolute best case scenario yes. for us. We needed them to vote somebody else. Because we would have lost, we would have had to use the changing lanes and brought over a blue team. Yeah. And had to try to pick them off. Yeah. And man, I'm so off. If there's not another spin or a twist. Yeah. We're locked in the final four. Yeah. Why? Because we have the park pass. We got the park pass. And we didn't have to use it. And as far as I can tell, nobody knows we got it. No. Or even suspects, suspects we have it. it. No. Our team almost is convinced it's blue yeah. that has it. Because we keep talking about so many different scenarios about who has it. We were even talking about it during their vote off tonight. Yeah. So I think tomorrow, this is my what our, my thoughts are, and we've talked about this off camera, but this is what our thoughts are. I yeah. think there's going to be a double elimination tomorrow. I think so. Which will take it down to two on each Thanks side. So. Mm -hmm. And then... Those two, there won't be any more votes, obviously, because there's only no. two. Those two will battle it out battle to go to the out. finale. There's Winter only there's only three more production days. Yeah. So you have to get down to four, then you have to get down and to two. two. So to get down to four tomorrow, you gotta you gotta have a double elimination. Yeah. 
And I just, I'm wondering, like, if you win that elimination challenge, what uh, the advantage is. Because yeah. whoever we choose to go after with our park pass, mm -hmm. if they win that challenge tomorrow, they gain immunity. With that, now we don't have a choice. We have to take out the, uh, yeah. whoever yeah. is left. We just need to win tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah. If we win it, we're good. Yeah. Because we don't really need it, but we need to take it away from those two. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. And I'm exhausted from all this mental gameplay. Mentally, <laughs> I can't physically, much more. <laughs> emotionally. If you were thinking about going on RV Unplugged Season 3, oh buckle up, Buttercup. Mm -hmm. This is not for the faint of heart. No, it's not. <laughs> and I think it's as the seasons go, it's only going to get harder and harder. This production crew is brutal. <laughs> yeah. With yeah. how they're spinning this and, and making us play the game. And the games are brutal. <clears throat> really hard. I was super worried about today's challenge because of the mental thing, but Yeah. And I still didn't get my individual results. I'm wait I gotta wait till tomorrow. If yeah. they'll even tell me. I might have, I might have to wait until it airs. It airs to see how well to see you how did. well I actually <laughs> did. But I had to have done pretty well for yeah. us to win. I had to have at least only missed like two. I, if I flip flopped, I may have missed two. Yeah. But that was worst case scenario. So I think I did really good. Yeah. Okay. Huh. But the good news is we're gonna still be around for at least one more day. At least one more day. <laughs> I keep saying that every day we're gonna be around for at least one more day. So stick uh, around, stick uh, with us. Hit yeah. the subscribe button. We'll mm -hmm. keep doing this as long as we're in the competition. Yeah. And we hope to keep seeing you all the way to the end. Yeah. Stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor Fallen Hero. Mm -hmm. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.